When you think of data pipelines, I want you to think of the conductor of an orchestra. Why? Because they behave similarly. What? A data pipeline orchestrates what things are run, when they are run, and in which order they are executed. The most common data pipelines are streaming pipelines, which process and analyze data in real time or near real time. And a typical application would be fraud detection, monitoring IoT devices, things like that. And then we have batch processing pipelines that work by processing large volumes of data in large groups or batches at scheduled intervals rather than continuously in real time. Let's look at an example of batch processing pipelines. It starts with an Excel file that you want to process and analyze in Power BI. But let's be real, it's never one Excel file. So you decide to use a data flow, but sooner rather than later, you start to see that fails. Either somebody dropped the wrong file, so you got the wrong columns on the source, the files is too big, so it takes too long to refresh so the data flow fails, the problems are endless. And it is in scenarios like these where data pipelines are very useful. Let's start from scratch. First, we're going to get the data using the copy data activity because we can do a lot of checks. We can check file size, last modified date, ensure that all the columns that should be there are there. And once you've done those checks, you can move the files that are okay to a late house that then can be transformed using a data flow that moves either to a data warehouse or to Power BI directly. The files that do not pass the test, you can actually send an email to somebody to tell them hey, you need to check this, something is wrong, or you can build checks to actually correct things. For example, you can split files if they are too big for the data flow. There are things that you can do to improve the flow. This is a very simple case on how to do batch processing. This can get as complex as you like but hopefully it gives you an idea of what a data pipeline does. I will see you again in the next video.